So we have almost hit July. And when I realized that we were almost halfway through the year, I got the idea to do a mid-year reset. I wanted to do a review of how my January to June has gone and see how I can make my July to December go better. I honestly don't remember setting any resolutions, which as I know is a word some people don't really love, any goals for the year at the beginning of the year. I'm not sure why I didn't or why I can't remember them if I did, but that's that's what I'm looking at here, unfortunately. So I really wanted to have goals for now. And I think I got inspired because I was starting to listen to a podcast that actually started in the beginning of the year. And so they were talking about their goals and I thought, this is great. It's time for me to do it. So my setup was thus. I wanted to look at what went well, what didn't go well, what I wanted to, what I want to improve and goals for the July through the December. And I broke that up into wins, losses, things to start and stop, and goals. Uh, goals is pretty straight ahead. I also wrote another couple things down. I wanted to create a rough video schedule. I knew that right off the bat, so I didn't make that part of my goals. And I wanted to brainstorm new trackers and challenges. That's kind of a personal thing for me. I really enjoy watching all of everyone do savings trackers and I'm enjoying the ones that I've started doing for myself. I look forward to being able to fill out the walking challenge that I have and I'm I'm getting ideas for others and I also have another big idea for something else which I will let everybody know a little bit later. So first I took out my notebook and basically I divided my page into four. I have in the on the top half, I have my review, and on the bottom half, I have how I want to proceed. So on the top, I reviewed wins from the first half of the year and losses for the first half of the year. The wins that I have is that I started posting videos again. So for those who don't know, I have actually had two other YouTube channels previously. Neither of them got over 100 subscribers, so could you argue that I didn't really do YouTube before? I suppose. I started the first one in April of 2020. 20, when we were all stuck at home with COVID and we were all looking for something to fill up our spare time that used to be spent driving. And I decided to contribute more content because I wasn't finding enough to keep myself occupied. Um, the second channel I had was just for me and neither of them made it. I have deleted them and wiped them off the face of the earth. I think I've mentioned this before. One of the other positive things is I started therapy. I don't remember if it was in January or February or March even, but I have been in therapy before. It's just, it's been good to get in it again and get in into it with the right mindset and having by luck of the draw, a therapist that I can connect with. So I have had therapists in the past that put me on edge for whatever reason. I have gone into therapy in the past with the wrong idea of what I was supposed to get from therapy. And I have, I have gone to therapy expecting all the work to be done for me and not putting any effort myself. And I basically just cried for three sessions, just solid crying. So therapy hasn't always gone very well for me. It's going well now we're meeting enough and I like it. I, uh, my family, paid off our debt management plan. That was $53,000 worth of debt that we paid off in five years. And I am so grateful it's done. I, I cannot express how grateful I am to be done with that payment plan. And finally, I started the budgeting process in the first half of the year. It's been very close to now. I only started the channel, started uploading in March, I think. So about the same time I started therapy. Hmm. I started the budgeting process. I still haven't got it nailed down. I am giving YNAB a try. You need a budget. I'm frustrated because my bank doesn't connect. I'm afraid it wants money to do that. And I don't like that, but we're just going to figure it out. 
I could put everything in manually. I've been doing that almost my entire life anyway. So those were the wins. Let's look at the losses because it's important to see where there's room to improve. Uh, our taxes this year were larger than expected and they were larger than expected because we suddenly, with my son being employed, weren't counting him as a dependent any longer. I think that's the right way to do it, but yeah, we're still paying off those taxes because we didn't have the, the money available to just throw almost $3,000 towards the government. They do offer repayment plans. There is a small amount of interest on it and it's getting there. Uh, I have endured a lack of energy and a lack of exercise this first half of the year. Now the lack of exercise isn't really anything new, but the lack of energy is. I am avoiding things more by sleeping and I'm just not getting out to move or staying in and moving. I'm not moving. So I really want to improve there. And then finally, the other really big loss is my house is still cluttered. So while I can see my desk right now, it is basically a carved out spot. There is not, this is not a clean surface like I would love it to be. I have only cleaned off the desk I really wanted to do some shelves and do some other things and get the house to a point where I enjoy living here and I don't just feel like I'm waiting for something else. So that is really something I'd like to fix. So now that I've done, look, I, I have, now that I, let me try this again. Now that I have looked at the past, I wanna look at what I want to do for the future. So what do I want to start and what do I want to stop? I want to start walking, reading, and doing daily affirmations. So I want to do those things every single day. Whether, and it doesn't have to be a long walk, but it has to be a walk of intention. So I am putting on shoes and leaving the house to take a walk. Maybe I'm just walking in flip-flops and I'm only walking around the block or maybe I am going out and I am walking for a mile like I have been the, this morning. Okay, dude, let's not say the past few mornings, that's a lie. Um, but I just wanna be intentional about it. Reading, I wanna read daily. I am still working through the book I mentioned in my last video and it's going well and I'm almost through and I'm excited to finish it so I can start that tracking challenge, which I'm excited about doing. And daily affirmations, whether that is one thing written 25 times, like I am enough or I am a, I am a person who walks daily. I, I want to earn $5,000 from my YouTube channel by December 31st, 2023, or whether it is things like one-offs, like looking in the mirror and telling myself that I am enough and what is meant for me will not miss me. And I am beautiful. I am funny, you know, things like that. Whether, whether it's the 25 times or the, the one-offs, I would like to work that into my daily thing, my daily thing. I would like to also get back to going to the gym two times a week. I've done it once. I think there was one week. I think I've been to the gym three, three or maybe four times, but I need to get back. I took a week off of work and I didn't go to the gym that week. And now I'm where I am, which is not where I want to be going to the gym twice a week. I want to start writing again. This is going to be a hard one for me because since COVID hit and the stress that happened with our family over that whole pandemic, which I think you, they still were still in, but the, the lockdown portion with all of the drama and, and things that were happening during that time, um, I got a really sour taste in my mouth for creative writing and I want to get back to that. I am a writer of stories not of poems. So who knows if I'll try both, but I'd like to get back in the habit of writing, even if it's just 
daily pages where I just, or weekly pages where I just write for three pages and maybe it takes me into a story and maybe it doesn't. I would also like to get into meal planning. This is something that is probably not going to happen immediately, but I would like to start planning my meals for the family so that we can try to start saving money at the store. And cleaning weekly, whether it's picking one thing to clean or making sure the dishwasher the dishes are washed every night, something. And in general, I want to manifest money. I want to work on manifesting. This is not the woo woo thing where you say I will earn $5,000 by December 31st, 2023, and then don't do any work for it. This is putting the action behind the words, but also keeping my mind on what I want to achieve so that I can achieve it. Uh, so I see opportunities to achieve it and can act on them so I can see opportunities to save to whatever it is. So I'm going to work on manifesting. The other thing I did was I set second half of the year goals. My first goal that I wrote down, well, actually not the first one I wrote down, but the one that made it to the top of my list is to nail down the family budget. This is something that is doable in the next two to three months. Not a problem. I'm going to have it done by the end of the year. Uh, develop or practice a morning routine. I actually wrote out what ideally I would like my morning routine to work to look like but I really want to get it nailed down so that it is I wake up and I do these things and then I'm on my day so my day is started on the right foot I personally noticed a huge difference in my productivity when I started waking up at 5 30 every morning and having a morning routine that I set and did almost every day I haven't done it for a while and while I don't sleep until 11 or 12 like I used to because then suddenly the afternoon comes and their whole day is gone I am taking more naps throughout the day and I just I think the morning routine would help with that I would like to earn 1,000 subscribers to midlife adulting you might say that earning subscribers is not a thing you can control I as a creator can control and that's kind of true but I do have uh, some things that I'm, some action items that I'm, that I can control that I'll talk about in a minute that will help the process and help me get there. I would like to read one book a month. Currently, I'm still working on create a story brand. Next thing I read may be fiction. Maybe it'll all be nonfiction. Who knows? I have a boatload of books on the shelves to read. And when I say read, I don't mean audiobooks. Those are like a fun perk that come on the side. I mean read. I mean open a book and read it, whether it's on my phone or it is a physical book. I would like to increase my endurance, and that's where the daily walking comes in. Increasing endurance for me means being able to work longer at an event that the my day job puts on without getting exhausted. It means being able to walk a mile and not be ready to collapse or not feel my heart trying to pound out of my chest. It means being able to walk a 5K in an hour. Those are, those are the kind of things that I would like to, that will show my increased endurance. And finally, drink more water. I've not been great with drinking water and I know it's said that you can count like coffee as your water or fruit juices as your, as your water, but I really just want to straight up drink more water. There was a time when I was drinking almost 150 ounces a day, like half my body weight in ounces of water and I felt amazing. I would wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom because you're drinking that much water, you've got to pee like all the time, but it, it was like I felt crystal clear when I was awake. And then I could go back to sleep immediately. It was kind of, it was kind of crazy. So that is what I have for my yearly review and how I have it all set up. There are so many things I could talk about. I did set up a, what I consider a rough video schedule, upload schedule for my channel. I did write out morning routine ideas. 
I did write out, you know, steps like read 10 pages a day to read a book a month or, um, you know, reading a shot. I, I have bullet points for increasing endurance, for drinking more water. I have all notes on all of that stuff, along with my new big project coming up. But let me go over the earn 1000 subscribers because I'm following a bunch of people right now that are like me, less than a thousand and 1000 subscribers is where you get monetized if you weren't aware that's when we are able to put ads on in our videos and earn some money from adsense not a lot of money but some money plus it's just a nice round number it's a nice goal number so just saying i'm going to get more subscribers isn't going to get me more subscribers and i cannot force people to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel but what i can do is i can improve my videos I could improve my videos with some B-roll, which hopefully I will have in this video as part of my trying to improve. I would like my thumbnails to have more of a look, a, a cohesive attitude so that you look at it and you're like, oh, that's from Nikki's channel. Thoughtful titles, working on SEO. I And to remember that I can improve my videos and still keep my voice. I don't need to do videos like anyone else. I don't need to incorporate anyone else's greetings. I don't need to be straight all the time. I can be silly and goofy and still do my videos and still be successful. So be prepared for that. I can provide value. I am not... I would like, like, I really want to get this video out before July because I would like incur to encourage other people to do a mid-year review to see what's gone well, what's not gone well, and what you can do to improve the second half of your year. That is the value here, is me sharing my process and hopefully it can help you. There are tons of resources though, so you don't have to use my formula to do your own mid-year review. It just seems that if you see, when I see people doing what I want to do. It sometimes just gives you a jumping off point. And I would like to be consistent. What I have not been doing right now is be consistent. Um, so I'm going to work on that. I am going, like I said, I, I have, I have a rough schedule. It looks like, it looks like budgeting videos and cleaning videos, but I also have, you know, updates on my miles. I also have gratitude videos that I'd like to do and when I get working on this wonderful fun project which I hate it when people say there's a new project coming up it's not going to be a long wait um I, I have an idea for a item that I could sell and so whether I start an Etsy shop or something else I'm just so very excited because the the product excites me I tell you what on Sunday night, I accidentally, and I swear to God, it was an accident. I accidentally stayed up until 1.15 in the morning. The only thing that kept me going the next day was finding out that the printer our company uses, here's a hint, to make postcards for, our, for the people that I work with, one of the products that I produce, is that the printer makes playing cards. And they're, I cannot tell you how excited I am. That's all I'm going to give you there. So I'm interested. I feel like this mid-year review has been good for me. Have you ever done a mid-year review? Do you review your year at the end in December um, between Christmas and New Year's? Do you reflect back on what's gone well and what's not gone well and then make a plan to improve? Or are you doing this all by the seat of your pants and you're happy with New Year's resolutions and that's enough for you? I'm really interested to hear. So drop your story in the comments and we'll we'll engage and maybe we can talk about this more when we hit quarter four. Maybe we'll do a quarter review. Some people do them more often. But that's all I have for right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And if you're not having a fabulous day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better. And I will see you next time. Bye.